Today on Constituency Link, we shift our attention to Ashaiman, which is one of the hot beds of activity, especially around the political period. constituency league we focus our lessons on the Ashaiman constituency this is a constituency with 17 electoral areas with a voter population of over 60,000 the Ashaiman constituency has been a stronghold of the ruling party the NDC party yet people here have complained that they have several challenges which are still not being solved Ashaiman is one of the largest constituencies in the Greater Accra region with a population of about 192,000. It covers an area of 45 kilometers square and share boundaries to the north and east with Punkatamanso district and to the south and west with the Tema metropolis. A cosmopolitan town, there are many tribal groups here. Most of the residents are middle and low income earners and trading is the main stay here. This is one of the biggest commercial areas operating a 24-hour service for traders from many parts of the country and beyond. Most of the traders are the youth. There are no jobs here unless in Tema industrial area and even there it is difficult to get one to do. Ashaiman connects the towns for most people to Accra, Tema, the Volta region, the Eastern region and to the Western region. Also known as the United States of Ashaiman, it has notable areas such as Old Tulaku, Middle East, Baku Flat and Christian Village. The town has schools, a polyclinic, private health facilities and two police stations. But interestingly, in this constituency, you will find areas christened after some biblical names including Bethlehem, Israel, Jerusalem, Jericho, Jordan and Roman Down. The old perception that people here had gained notoriety in crime is gradually fading away. In the olden days, people did not respect some of us who live in Ashiaman, but the situation has changed. We have decent people who live here. Now, Ashiaman can also boast of fine footballers and top personalities in the Ghanaian showbiz world including Stone Boy and Ibrahimata. Issues here which are begging for attention and on the heartbeat of many are unemployment, poor roads and development. We are currently at Otulaku, one of the densely populated areas in Ashaiman. This place has been described as one of the dirtiest. Access to toilet facility and roads is a major challenge here for residents. Now, we'll be speaking to them. Let's hear what they have to say. Uh, my problem is to say, this, this truck will have 12 polling stations for this truck. The voting way parties they get for here will be small votes. But if you vote finish, we will not get any prop fit for the voting top. I came here in 1997. Up to now, this road, they know if you do Always our kids see the way the, way the water falls. See the way the road be. Our kids, they suffer if you didn't go to school. No road to go. Unless you carry them go. This year, we want development before vote. 
If you don't see any development, we truck people will not go vote, give them. Children have been roaming about, they don't help their children. Not even talking with the grown up. School children, the schools are, if you go to a national private school, the school needs more maintenance. Nobody is helping them. They only, they only come and lie us and they go away. So our police said, no work. We don't work. This kind of work self, we are doing, the MPs are against we. At Obakache and Baku flat areas, residents were worried about the slow pace of development until the Oli storm drain at Roman Dow and Jericho were widened and desilted. Flooding had killed many here. I live at a senso bar and flooding is a problem here. We don't have tax bins, so some people put refuse into the storm drain. From Lebanon Zone 2 to Christian Village, the state of Link Road is poor, although buildings are well planned. The deplorable state of the roads had worsened with the onset of the rains. And I think Ashama has been voting for NDC for, uh, let me say they've been consistent with NDC, but I believe sir, they've not had their fair share uh, as far as employment is concerned. Um, these days, if you go to any of the police station, you will realize that theft is one of their daily uh, challenge they record on their criminal records that is what is happening is because most of the guys are really not working they don't have any employment they wake up and then they are at home they can, the menial job they find to do when they go to factory these days most of those factories can no longer what, accommodate them because the people the factories most of them say they are what they are under stress of utility and all that <music> Residents say Ashaiman gained its independence when it was carved out of the Adentine municipality. Previously, assembly members had to travel to Adentine through to the Tama Accra motorway to attend meetings. Lobbying for projects for the Ashaiman township was difficult because their representation at the assembly was few and ineffective. But. The creation of the Ashaiman municipality separate from Adentine has not also brought any development to the area. Residents say their only source of joy is the newly constructed dual carriage road from Timber Market to Ajay Kujo. Since 1992, residents have voted massively for the National Democratic Congress the NDC party except in 2000 when the NDC lost to the MPP candidate. The NDC reclaimed the seat in 2004 with Alfred Kwame Agbisi who has represented the people of Ashaiman since then. Alfred Agbisi's attempt to enter parliament for the fourth time has been thwarted by his defeat to Ernest Nogbe at the party's primaries. Other parties including the NPP, the PPP, the CPP and the GCPP have also struggled to even chalk up 2% of the vote in their Shaiman constituency. Mm -hmm. 